dual review is brought to you by spiderwolf.com. On today's dual review, it's Code Geass, the anime. I'm RJ. And I'm Nick. Let's get to it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey everybody, today is the 19th and we're taking a look at Code Geass, or Geese, Geass. Geass, yeah. Uh, so it came out in 2006, there's 25 episodes in the first season, uh, the second season also has 25 episodes, which is uh, dubbed, or has the R2 out there, and then there's an R3, and I don't know how many uh, episodes that is, uh, and then there's two OVAs to date, um, it's directed by Goro Tanaguchi, uh, and the studios is Sunrise Studios. Um, so basically the plot is... In an alternate timeline, uh, from the from the appearances of it, Britain has essentially control over most of the world. Definitely has all of North and South uh, America, uh, Americas plural, North America and South America. And basically, that is called Britannia, and it's led by uh, King something something Brit or was it Emperor? No, it's King Brit Britannia. Uh, and then you have Japan. Now Japan has been colonized. And it's called Level uh, 11. 11. 11, yes. So Level 11. Uh, and basically, the people of Level 11 are treated just uh, racially. You know, they're like, oh, you're at 11, you know, whatever. You're not cool enough to be part of Britain. Um, so you have a member of the British Empire. And I don't want to say where exactly he fits, but he's definitely an aristocrat in that sense. But he's kind of cast out. He goes to 11. And he takes it upon himself to join the rebellion against Britannia, and he has his own motives. Um, in addition, in the first episode, so there's no real spoilers here, he also gains the Gias, which is the namesake. And basically that allows him to control people's minds, and he can only do it once. And, it, you know, so I, I don't want to give too much away about it, because one of the things that I love about this anime is the first thing that he starts to do, being a, a brilliant tactician, bringing the, the mind that he has... He starts to try and figure out how the Gias works, so he tests it, and he and he sees how long it takes for it to last, you know, and how far away it is, and he just keeps on going, and it's pretty cool. So you have a combination of political intrigue, you have giant mechs, you have this kind of weird paranormal thing happening with the Gias and, and where it comes from, and all that other fun stuff. So uh, what do you think? Yeah, the the mechanism of it is really kind of a make or break. If, if you don't like that, then this probably won't do much for I you. Like Max. But if you do, then you should like it. I I'm actually kind of odd. I I like it okay, but I kind of lose tolerance for it. I don't know. They just seem so the same all the time. That's why I really like Gurren Logan because that was totally different to yeah, me. Yeah. So to me, this is touted as you know one of the the greatest of our generation. You know, kind of animes. And it is solid for sure, and it, you know, great animation, although not the best animation. Uh, great, you know, top-notch voice acting. Of course, we watched the dub version mostly, um, but either way, great voice acting. Yep. Decent characters. Uh, I have fun with you know, like the the girl, whatever I forget her name. Do you Which remember one? her name? The one with the hair, the red. Oh, uh, uh K Kaylin. She's kind of kick-ass. Yeah, uh, she's cool. And I do enjoy the intrigueness of it, but if you're looking for intrigue, I go Ghost in the Shell kind of thing. So for me, it's like, hey, this is a solid anime, but I don't like it as much as I think you would. It kind of doesn't have a lot of fun to me. There's nothing that like, hey, you know, there's no breaking of character. Like, I love the animes that do that. that okay, I see what and, you're saying. And there's also just a, a lot less, it's kind of serious, and there's a lot less quirk and fun. It's just kind of a straightforward mech anime. But, I mean, maybe that's not how you feel, but that's how I feel. So, again, I say that if you're interested, it definitely is a well-made anime, and it should be engaging enough, but it is a little dry, and a little bland if you're not totally on board with the whole mecha thing. I love the Britannia idea. And in fact, I think I've seen it somewhere else, haven't I? Did Trinity Blood do something like that? I can't remember. It feels like I've seen that before, but yeah. maybe it's just because I watched this a long enough ago and then rewatched it and was like, oh yeah, right. Yeah, I think I think a lot of people have done that, that where Britain uh, kept their rule over America. You know, like uh, we never won that, that war. So uh, I, think, I think that has been done before, but I really like this one. I really like how it goes. I like... 
It's a good one. Okay, I like I like so much about this one. One of the things that I love about Japanese storytelling is they can fit in so many different genres that American culture we don't really do. You know, like this is a murder mystery, period. This is a uh, this is a science fiction movie, period. You know, there's not much else happening in this one. It's got the the political. It's got uh, you know uh, the, the 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 kind of almost spiritual. It's got uh, the basic Japanese. We're school kids, and we have to deal with all these crazy things happening while dealing with our school life. So it's got so much stuff happening, and it's so cool to see. You know the rebellion, the uh, it's just so much stuff. It's great. And again, I think that a lot of the the youth part of it stems from that's such a pivotal time in the Japanese culture. Right. Because if you don't get a, a good job right out of school, and it's like the last time to be free because then you go on to higher education and if you don't get a job right out of there then you're going to be a ramen dude you know kind of thing so they have a lot of pressure and so i think that's why they keep going back to this plus they're they're obviously obsessed with like youth kind of yes. thing so anyway i'm yes. sorry no no it's fine um i i think that the characters are really cool it it has a lot of anime does it but not in this way where it has two um friend characters two characters who are friends who are kind of pitted against themselves you know, uh, just because of their political views, where they where they stand as far as anything goes, so they do that, and that's actually a really fun dynamic, in my opinion. Um, it has one of the things that I love was actually um, uh, CC or C2, uh, as she's known, who actually gives um, him his powers, his the code Geass. Um She usually when that happens, it uh, it's it's the character who has the ability to give power to someone else, but they're always kind of reserved and and not for anything they just kind of want to stay at home and, and not deal with the world and it's always given to this kind of um uh, uh, character who's very forward about it they're um, what's the word i'm looking for they're uh, uh damn it i had that word in my head before but you know you know what i mean where they're just assertive that's the word assertive they're very assertive um in this one c2 who gives him his power isn't like that she's she's definitely an enigma you have no idea where the hell she's coming from what she's going to do but she's not reserved she has a very bold even her even her voice actress is is bold about her statements and she does things you know she goes out and she says well we made a bargain and you're going to stick to it and i'm going to make sure you stick to it so you can't die here so i'm just going to force that on you and so she's she's a cool character in my opinion plus you have lelouch who is the the main character who is zero um and he's he's cool i like i like a lot of things that he does i love his tactician in fact the very first battle that he's in, I fell in love with, which I think is still the first episode. So yeah, Lelouch is, Lelouch is an awesome character. I like him. Um, as far as art style, I love when they do those those thick lines and then it leads up to the thin lines. And I, I really like that because it makes it really solid in my opinion. And uh, it's just, to me, it's so great. The story, the characters, the art, the, the music, for the most part. I mean, every now and then you don't really pay attention to it. So that's good in your book. To me, sometimes I just want to hear it, but the action is awesome, and I love the mechs. I mean, most of them look generic, but, you know, I love the things that they have, you know, where they where they shoot out the things, kind of like um, Attack on Titan, you know, those those kind of speeding things. That's so cool. I, see, that's that's what I would say is that I can... This this anime is like, okay, what I start thinking of all these other ones that do better, like Gurren Logan that I mentioned is kind of this post-apocalypse thing, and they have a lot of fun with it. And, you know, kind of like the Beastmen and all that stuff. Right. And then you think of, like, classic, like, Gundam and whatever. It's I like love you're, you're flying all over the place, and it's kind of like that's the Pioneer, so that has its own place. And then you start thinking of Evangelion, which is, like, versus heaven and hell, kind of. I mean, like, angels and shit. I mean, it's like a post apocalyptic. I mean, there's just so much more to those. Although, I do understand that the intrigue is, is nice. It's just, to me, it's a little bland, but I do. It is a very solid anime, so I just, I'm just kind of a party pooper, I guess. Yeah, I, I don't know. To do me, you, it's well rounded. What? Do you at least agree that it's, it takes more to get into? It's not like instantly like this is awesome. It's like you have to watch a few episodes to kind of be like, yeah, yeah, and okay. See if you're interested in it, it's I, it's slower. To to me, really I watch them back to back. So um, really? to me, yeah, the first episode, I I kind of blended into the second episode, and between that, I was hooked. So between the first and second episode, I was hooked. I, I really like this show. I think it's awesome. So to me, yeah, I think right off the bat, I liked it. I, okay. I think it's solid. It's just not one that did compel me to watch it back to back. So. Okay. Well, I, I I don't know what to say about that. I, I dig it. I think it's awesome. I think you guys will like it. I, I think, I think you will too. I mean, if you're into mechs. Yeah. I think that if you haven't watched a lot of anime, um, this one is, is right up your alley. You should really check this one out. I disagree with that. Really? If you haven't watched a lot of anime and you can't... I don't think it's like, you know... Like a you know the gateway anime, 
I, I do. I think this is definitely a gateway anime. I, don't I think, think so. I, I think, think like has... Full Metal Alchemist is, Van Helsing is. Absolutely, but because you... those are awesome and they're fast paced, and this is not. I, I disagree with that. I think this totally works, right. in my opinion. All right. Well, there you have it. We oh, don't always agree. Nope. Uh, but I do like it. Again, yes. it is a good. It is a great anime. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow our great playlist. Game Lab's been a lot of fun. Yes, it has. And please leave comments. We love comments. And you can help support us by buying our wares at spiderwolf.com. That's right. T-shirts, a car game, art prints, short stories, and more. And if you're on Facebook, uh, so are we. So find us and friend us. And if I'm online, I will chat with you all day. We're also both blogging. You can find me, fisk37.tumblr.com. I'm blogging as characters, releasing character sheets, bits about the world that I've created for 10 plus years. Take a look. If you like it, share it. Support me that way. And mine is nicholasbach.tumblr.com where I have short stories and poetry. So if you're interested, check that out. Okay. See you later. Oh. 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 Yay. Ha. 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 Yep. Up next, the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Hey, everybody. Today is the 19th, and we're taking a look at the anime Code Geass, or... Yes, it's yes. Uh, it came out in two. Ge geese? Geese? Ge geese. Ge A lot of people say code geese. People say code geese? Yeah, let's do it again. People say code. I've always said code geese. Oh! No! Oh. Oh. Yay! Ha 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 ha. I can laugh at you because you had plenty of time. Yep. But I did too, so. It's embarrassing for both of us. Okay, bye guys. You guys win. You guys win. When it's embarrassing for both of us, you guys win. Exactly. Okay, now we gotta let it cool down. We can just sit here in the dark. Ooh, whatever will we do? Need to find something to pass the time. So, read comics? Yeah, probably. I downloaded a... It's certainly a... not make out. I downloaded League of Extraordinary <laughs> Gentlemen. Oh yeah? You're not gonna acknowledge my statement? I'm not gonna acknowledge that statement, no. Creep him out really easily. He does. It's, it's actually, surprisingly, it's very easy to creep me out. I didn't know that about myself, but apparently it is. He just doesn't like cinnamon, and I always taste like cinnamon. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, when the shark bites with its teeth and <laughs> and it keeps them for a while. They can't all be winners. Oh, 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 oh.